This is the setup of my project a smart irrigation system in which I have used an Arduino and a bolt in which there is a ESP module and I have connected the TX and RX pin of Arduino to the bolt so that we can uh, command the Arduino for the operation system and also for receiving the data of rain and the soil moisture sensor on the bolt cloud page. Here I have made a web page to control the area hole irrigation process system and you are clicking on to start the motor and the motor has now started. Here the LED starts going which indicates the motor has the motor has started. I will check the different conditions which I have made in my system. So first uh, I have used the soil moisture sensor. This is the soil moisture sensor and I am going to put in water. Uh, so that when it reaches the threshold value the motor will stops automatically so here the, i have dipped the soil moisture sensor in water and when it reaches to the threshold value the motor will stop and here the led stops glowing which indicates that the motor is now stopped now again i have to uh, for the next situation i have to again start the motor for that i have to uh, start through the web page by sending api so here i am again clicking on to start the motor and the motor has again restarted yes it's restarted here LED also started glowing which confirms that the motor has not restarted now the next is the raining which is the raining condition so here is the rain sensor and I'm, I will put this in water so that's in. so here I am putting this in water and uh, it indicates that it is raining and also the motor will stops till it is raining here the LED stops glowing which confirms that the motor is now stopped and now if I remove the rain sensor from water it will automatically start itself and here the lights are in the LED has start glowing which indicates that the motor is now started now the next condition is so it is raining and also the soil moisture sensor reaches to the threshold value then the whole system will completely get shut off and uh, it will again restart the irrigation process only by giving command through the web page.